you happy packers and what's this? I'm not starting in my house this time. I'm starting in a uh, orchestra town. Yeah, believe it or not. Um, after the whole you, after the whole incident with the mayor scheming a fan, um, tricking a family into buying a poorly poor structure. We all decided, we all felt bad, and we decided, hey, we're all gonna get together and we're gonna build their houses up. Because we all decided that we love Orchestra Town. <laughs> we find it interesting, we find it, we find it something, something, just something about it just keeps us coming back, you know? It's quite enticing, I guess you could say. <laughs> anyway, oh, that should be good. And we decided what better way than to help help the town grow than growing it ourselves like a perfectly root crop. Now I know I said I was going to find a present for Crow because of all because I felt bad and like I said I wanted to focus on finding a present for Crow, but now I'm gonna put that on hold. I, it's kind of a silly little thing that I kind of want to do, but. <laughs> I, I want to get a present for the whole town, not just Crow. M maybe, maybe just Mayor Bell, Crow, and uh, Captain Harsworth, who's who's dancing over there. I don't know why he's dancing. I'll ask him later. But anyway, um, we've been doing, we've been making great progress. I mean, look at the buildings, and we're gonna go see Usagi and greet her properly to Orchestra Town, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> I also have to see Mayor Bell. I, I don't see him around here, so I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume he's. I'm gonna assume he's at his office. Um, I also got a sledgehammer. Boom, 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 boom. And yeah, the whole four gold thing, four stacks of gold thing is on hold. Even um, Mayor Bell told me, yeah, that put that on hold. We need to fix the town up a little for this family. <laughs> Cause they had the huge hole in the roof and it just wasn't nice. Anyway, here's Eleanor and, but first before we talk to Eleanor, I, I, I wanna check up on Spring. <laughs> hey Spring, hey Maple, yeah. Um, near Mir Crow could watch Spring, so we took Spring into town. She brought her her picnic basket and her blanket, and Maple and her just hit it off. It was amazing. <laughs> it was so cute. First, there, ah, it was so cute. <laughs> anyway, let's see what Maple has to say. I know you meant to make the smoothie sweet, but the massive amounts of sugar masked the strawberry's natural flavor and sweetness. Whoa, Maple, I didn't. I knew you were smart, but I, I didn't know you knew that much about food. Uh, Spring, what do you have to say about this? That's a lot. <laughs> Mabel, I don't think you should critique Spring's food until she knows <laughs> the words you're talking about. <laughs> oh, poor Spring, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pat you on the head. Yay, poor Dean. Oh, don't forget Mabel. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if Spring... Yes! I'm gonna take one of these drinks. I don't care if they're super sweet. I like my drink. I like my smoothie. Super sweet maple. So Eleanor, what do you have to say about these two little cuties? <laughs> Hello, you must be the farmer, my son. So Maple's a boy. Oh damn! I hope Crow doesn't find out. <laughs> I mean, after all, girl, boys and boys and girls. <laughs> anyway, um. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Eleanor Vanilla Sugar. I'm sorry for my outburst yesterday. Preventing myself from greeting you, probably. Sorry. Eesh. Just had a snack. <laughs> it's fine. It's uh, nice to meet you too, Eleanor. Uh, I look forward to your restaurant opening. Maple's been telling me so much, and from his knowledge, I I'm gonna assume it's really good food. <laughs> my husband, Clovis, and I do too. At first I was enraged that he bought the building without thinking of its condition, but now that everyone's helping clean it up, I'm finding myself falling in love with the structure. Yeah. The the roof's still in shambles though. I feel bad about that. I hope you guys have a place to sleep that's dry at least. S say, speaking of this region's people, uh, this region, yeah, I guess this region's people are pretty nice, but yes. May I meet Spring's mother? I would love a, I would love to have a mama friend in town. Oh, oh no. And our kids seem to be getting along well, regardless of Maple's wordy critique of Spring's strawberry smoothie. Yeah, that, that it was a wordy critique, but oh God. 
I'll explain the situation. I guess I can explain best I can, but Eleanor, Spring's mother. I don't know if Spring has a mother. Let me adjust my chair here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Eleanor. I don't think Spring has a mother. I've been on this island for a while. I'm not an island. This isn't an island, but I've been in in the orchestra town for a while, and I think. I don't know. I don't think Spring has parents. I think whatever happened in Orchestra Town took away her parents, and I, 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 I'm just assuming, but I don't think Spring has anyone really. Besides, oh, besides me and Crow. Me and Crow love Spring dearly, and so is Captain Harsworth. I, in fact, like recently, Captain Harsworth has been taking Spring on boat rides, and I think he just took one before this whole thing happened. He took, um, he took. Spring and Maple on a boat ride, and they had a lot of fun. Oh, it's fine. If Spring ever feels she needs a mother's love, she can join me and Maple in the kitchen. Oh, Nothing brings a child and a mother closer together, closer than cooking together. Oh, thank you so much, Eleanor. You know what? I think I'll, I think I'll take you up on the offer too. It'd be nice to cook with Spring. I mean, I, I am her big sister after all. <laughs> well, I'd like to think of myself as it. She keeps calling me big sis. <laughs> oh, oh, are you guys having a disagreement over the strawberry smoothies? <laughs> oh, I think the strawberry smoothies are very good, Maple. Yeah, give Spring, sh give Spring some slack. You can teach her how to make some good strawberry smoothies. You don't have to turn each other's. I'll just leave them alone. <laughs> I'm gonna go check up on Clovis. He's up there working on the roof. Ooh, wow. They had a lot of stuff, though. I didn't know they can. They brought so many tables and chairs. Yeah, I talked to Clovis earlier, and apparently, um, they weren't doing well in the Sunflower region. The Sunflower region, like I said, is prosperous to the point where it's hard to make it there unless you've already made it already. But yeah. Oh man, this is gorgeous. I just love it. <laughs> and up here, um, I helped build the staircase. Um, up here we have their kitchen area. Hence the flags. It's really pretty. And they have milk fats. Mm -hmm. And ooh, that is a lot of knives. I hope Clovis and Eleanor do not get in a fight in here. <laughs> but yeah, they have a lot of stuff. <sighs> no, Eleanor would kill me if I stole a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> they have a blender. Does it work? I don't know if it works. Hmm. Anyway, uh, hey Clovis, you up here? Clovis! Thanks for helping, Lene. My wife and I really appreciate it. Say, can you get some supplies that I needed from the mayor for me? Oh, sure. <laughs> you must be running out of stuff. Yeah. We've most of the roof's been fixed. It's just this ma this major portion here that has to be fixed, along with that window there. We also um, oh, I shouldn't be up here. <laughs> Bad idea. Uh, downstairs, 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 downstairs. What? Hmm. Um. Yeah, the front door's been fixed. It's it's really nice up. It's really really nice over here. They got this beautiful view. I wish I could see my farm from here. You can only see my farm from uh, Crow's Hideout, though. Yeah, that, that's a pretty house. And it's so much, so much has been taken back by nature. It's kind of. Yeah. Um, the next house we work on after we're finished the bathhouse is actually the mayor's house. And I'm excited to do that because the bathhouse is looking really good. And and. It's just so pretty. We wanted to do an Eastern theme, but no one in town really knows how to build Eastern, and Usagi doesn't really know how to build in general, so she's just been helping Eleanor decorate the, the decorate everything. But Eleanor and I, myself, and uh, Eleanor, myself, and Crow Captain Harsworth, um, we we destroyed the inn next door, and we're thinking of making this up like a public park for Spring and Maple and other children. Are they still happy? Their packs are still turned to each other. Make up, you two! Come on, it's just a strawberry smoothie. It's just a delicious smoothie. There's nothing to get mad about. Ooh, jeez, children. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we destroyed the former inn, and and Mayor Bell says if he could, if everything goes to plan, the inn's gonna go over here instead. But that's only if things go according to plan, and I don't know what that means exactly. 
I think it has to do with the um, four stacks of gold. I need to give Maribel. Oh, hey, girl. How you doing? Why do you... Hey, don't turn your back to me. Why do you have your helmet on? Crow, are you okay? He's wearing his helmet again and isn't speaking. Crow seems to be shy around so many new people. Oh, that makes sense. You really are shy, Crow. I mean, you've been warming up to me and you really, you really love spring. So, so it's obvious you talk to her a lot. And it's obvious you have some connection with Mayor Bell. But you don't really talk to anyone, do you? Regardless of being a knight. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Captain Nardsworth. Oh, uh, I don't have anything to sell right now. <laughs> ha ha ha. I intimidated that poor lad over there by demolishing the former inn in a few swings. I know you took out most of the inn, Captain Nardsworth, but you really shouldn't strain yourself. Does he have a drink in his hand? <laughs> oh, it's one of spring strawberry smoothies. Crow and... I think he, he thinks he intimidated Crow, but I, I think Crow's just a little shy. Yeah, and we're also having planning on having a festival once everything's done and over with, too. We're really all excited. I am I am really excited. I'm like super duper 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 excited, you know? Cause when everything's finished, I've never actually been to a festival. And I am so excited if that happens. I shouldn't swing this around. This is actually the hammer, um, Mayor Bell Mayor was using. <laughs> this is the sledgehammer. I got it off him. I didn't think he deserved to have it after just after um discovering the hot spring on accident. <laughs> oh, uh, looks like a carpet's uneven. I'll put this on. I'll put this in here for now. Oh, uh, hold on. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll put this in here for now. Your carpeting's a little uneven. Bothered, bothered me. I'm sorry, Usagi. <laughs> Usagi, um, how are you? <laughs> Oh, Lene. Oh, you're Lene? Aren't you the farmer that lives nearby? That's me. It's wonderful to finally speak with you without difficulty. Thank you for aiding in building the bath my bathhouse. It's no problem. I can't wait for it to open. I really can't wait. Because you see, like, back when I worked on my grandfather's farm, there was this bathhouse nearby. And any time we finished, um, every time we finished our work, we would go to the bathhouse. <laughs> and it just really helped our muscles relax. It's the best, most recommended thing for farmers to uh, take hot spring. In fact, I have a few uh, relatives that actually built their own hot spring next to their houses just because they love them so much. It's weird. I don't know how to swim, but I love baths. I love baths. <laughs> it's no problem. I can't wait for it to open, like I said. <laughs> I can't either. I was surprised when Mayor Bell offered me the land for free. Originally, he, wait, he offered it for free? <laughs> I'm working four stacks of gold and I'm here and he's, he's paying Crow. He offered for free and... Ugh. Originally, the land was offered to my grandmother, but she, has, she had passed away, sadly. Oh, I'm sorry, Usagi. I really am. So I asked the mayor if I could take the land and he had no problem with me stepping in stepping in the place of my grandmother. It makes me happy to know he's confident in my abilities. Oh, that's nice. It's not, it's nice to know. Anything else? I guess that's all we have to say. Yeah, everyone's glad to have you here, Usagi. Everyone is glad to hear. Especially since you're so cute. You're just so pink. I'm guessing that's your favorite color, because you're, yeah, that, this is definitely your favorite color. <laughs> pink and red. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... Hey, Spring, uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna take a strawberry smoothie for... For, uh... For Usagi over here. She needs one. I think, uh, yeah, Crow had one earlier, I think. I... Demolishing that in took a lot. I'm gonna give you one of these strawberry smoothies. <laughs> yeah, Spring made them a little bit too sweet according to Maple, but I'm sure that's fine with you. She's so pretty. I want to take a look at the bathhouse. Uh, the boys don't look finished. The, bo the male bathhouse isn't finished, but I think the girls is. The female is. Oh my god. This is so pretty. I wish I could take a bath right now after all the hard work, but Usagi said it wasn't 
finished because apparently there's some special stuff she has to put in. Make sure it's tempered correctly. Oh my god. Ooh. What's this? What's this? What is this thing? Ah! I have to shower. You're supposed to shower yourself off to get used to the temperature before you step in. This is really Eastern style because the village, um, the village Usagi came from is actually part Eastern, really. It's, yeah, I don't know what the situation is, but yeah, we got, we got a lot. <laughs> We're really happy about the bathhouse being here. Everyone is practically, me and Elnor actually, me and Eleanor should actually have some girl time and we can go in the bathhouse with us spring and we can talk about all girly things like flowers. <laughs> That's another thing. I should start thinking about um, getting more flowers to grow at my farm. It'd be nice. It would be nice. Uh, I better get those. Oh yeah, Clovis. I gotta get those building supplies for Clovis. He, he really needs to fix that roof before Eleanor gets mad at him. He actually had a waffle iron imprint on him for a while after... <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Oh man, the blue banners! I'm so glad he put those there. <laughs> You're seeming much happier than you were with Maribel. I forgot how much paperwork it, is, it takes to run a village properly. Oh, the building materials Clovis wanted are over by the stove. Oh, thanks Maribel! And I'll take this. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we, I really gotta scope this place out. Uh, Maribel, I'm gonna scope this place out a bit. Cause like we're building, we're gonna fix up his house. I said, I know he said he didn't want us to scope it up. I know he's a little, he, he li the r biggest reason why we have to fix Mayor Bell's house is because one, he's been sleeping in the bell tower. I know his name is Mayor Bell, but that makes kind of no sense. And um, we need to talk to a specialist about getting rid of this obsidian. We've already talked to Mayor Bell and he said, the capital does know about the obsidian and it should be fine, but yeah. Spring, spring has been decorated. Spring has been decorating a lot of, making a lot of lamps lately. <laughs> That's another thing. She actually, uh, ow, <laughs> that kind of hurt. <laughs> Smoothie, save me! <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna take this out. I won't do anything. I won't break anything. Yeah, we gotta fix this. This is so not up to code. Like. Huh? Oh, what's that? Ah, it's back's turn. Mm. Wow, this is really broken up. What's, what's this place? <laughs> wow, I've never seen ivy grow down that far. I, I climb it just for fun, but... <laughs> ah, this looks boarded up. Should I...? Yeah, I'm curious. I am really curious. an old record play. Wow, this is really purple. This just screams Mayor Bell. <laughs> that guy really loves purple. <laughs> and there's a bunch of dead plants. And, wow, this is a lot of books. This is a chain. Whoa, that's magic. That is magic. What's this? It looks like a crown of some sort. <laughs> what, was Mayor Bell some sort of king? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at him. It's not funny. There's brewing stand. Brewing brewing sands and the cauldron. I don't know if I should be in here. Um, these are my last notes in this room. I, Mayor Bellamere, Bellamere. I thought his name was Mayor Bell, not Bellamere. I guess it's his full name. Um, former Grand Warlock. A great a war. Mayor Bell's a warlock. What? What? A warlock. Those aren't those. I never met a warlock. I don't want to know what they. I never knew what they looked like. And I, I guess now I do because apparently Mayor Bell's a warlock. <laughs> of the Castanet region have been robbed of my magical ability. What? He was robbed? 
of his magic of his magic after the devastating battle that took place in orchestra town i can hardly believe it myself blank blank were the rest of the pages look to have been ripped out ripped angrily ripped out and covered in ink oh no oh no oh no i've gone and i really I know I've been rude in the past, but this is, this is, oh no. Mayor Bellamere is gonna get, oh no. Uh, maybe, maybe he didn't see. Maybe he didn't see me go in here. Maybe he didn't. Oh no. I, I just found out what happened to Orchestra Town. There was some sort of battle, but during the battle, apparent magic was evolved or I can't go, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> I can't let him know I was there. <sighs> this is scary. This is actually really scary. He's a warlock. I, I knew Mayor Bell was weird, but I... Warlocks are extremely rare, and I never met one, and I don't know what they're like. I, I, I've heard good things, and, but I've also heard bad things, and I don't want to be turned into a toad <laughs> if I am invading privacy. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about that, but yeah. I'm gonna... We're also... <laughs> We're also gonna um, destroy this building here. I actually think there's gonna be a big event for destroying this building here because it used to be, I guess, some importance or something. I don't know. Damn, the stress hammer's kind of useless, somewhat. I guess. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I guess I just need some space after finding out something so shocking. I don't know what to think of Mayor Bell now. He, when he says he was stripped, robbed of his powers, I wonder what it was like, you know? Because knowing that there was a battle that took place here, I think there's hints that, the, why, I think I now know why Mayor Bell didn't want to talk about why or what happened to Orchestra Town. I think I, I think it's okay if he doesn't want to tell me. At least I know one thing is that he doesn't feel comfortable telling me because he lost something very precious to him. He, he actually lost a physical part of himself, probably. And, I mean, if I had magical powers and I were stripped of it, I, I'd be pretty... And he was a Grand Warlock, too, or something. He must have been high up on the chain, I guess. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Um... Next episode, I'm definitely focusing on the whole gift thing. I, I think I really should get something for for um, for Mayor Bell or Bellamere or whoever he is. And I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I don't know. How long. The more, the longer I stay here, the one moment I feel sure I'm in the right place, and the next moment I'm just more eyebrows are raised than lowered. I have more questions than I do answers, and it's just confusing. I don't know if I should, I don't know if I can trust Mayor Bell near. Bell, Mayor Bell, or whatever his name is. Grand Warlock, or, ugh. I'm scared to, now I'm, I guess I'm just scared to find out what he wants with the four stacks of gold. This is Lenny, and I'll see you guys later. Happy back.